morning family it is your boy Zary from the XMG coming at you today on a very early Friday morning which means it's free to play Friday so I'm on the free to play account and we are gonna kinda go over what we got going on I am going to switch it up a little bit I am gonna talk a little bit more on a question I am asked quite a bit but before we get into that, if you are not part of the XMG family, you should be part of that family. Click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on good stuff coming your way. And for all the family members out there, we are at 810 subscribers. 40 more and I will announce the next details for the giveaway. So thank you all for your loves, your support. Taking the time to hit that subscribe button means the world to me. So thank you all so very much. So now let's get into the free to play account and the questions that I get asked quite a bit. So here we are. Here's my rock. question I get asked quite a bit is who is the better healer? Now you have Selena, you have Mortha, and you have Aurelia. Now it, it there's three healers and it really is a two dog race. Because you need a healer for the order and you need a healer for the clans and to progress in the campaign you really do need a healer for both people ask me who should I invest in what should I do and the answer to me is fairly obvious I'm learning quite a bit from this experience of playing free-to-play and starting over again to where I can help people out to try to progress their account and one of the main things I've written down for when I get a little bit more into this, I'm going to make like a what you should focus on progression staple kind of pillar aspect if you're a fan of Warrior. He kind of had the pillars of Star Wars, so kind of kind of that model. And it, it it's clearly Selena. Selena is just a fantastic character that was made for this reason and it shows so I am level 49 and we're just gonna kinda go over what makes her so good now I don't even have a full rune amulet yet because I can't get the speed we'll kinda get there in a minute but I am running at a 3, 4, 5, and 2 she does very good damage for a healer her speed isn't bad she has two heals, which to me is humongous. Now, she's not attacking like an Aurelia per se or a Mortha, but her heals are powerful. I have it at level 4, so it does 280% of Selena's magic damage and an extra 5% of her maximum health. And then she has her mass heal at level 5, 320% of her magic damage. If the allies are inflicted by debuffs, applies one random opposite buff for the same duration. She's just extremely good. And her purpose in the game is to help with that early mid-game grind. So you want to get to 5-9. Start farming her and unlocking her. She is worth every penny. Compared to an Aurelia who you will need for Ember so anything you put into her so you're gonna want to put a little bit into her To get you to you know that 5-9 stage to where you can start unlocking Selena, but The speed comparison between Selena and Aurelia is night and day She Selena goes way faster her Here we had it at level 4 240% of magic damage on the mass heal. Now, Selena had at level 5 had 320. She has 290. So she's dealing she's do, doing more healing. Then her starfall does damage, but it's 50% of the damage dealt. That so right 220 or 120% of her magic damage roughly on a heal. Just you're getting way more benefit and your team survives so much longer when it comes to Selena. So you you want to people are asking me who should I invest in? What should I do? Selena is the way to go. You want to take Selena 
as high and as far as you can. You will not regret any gear you put into her. So with that being said, I'm going to move on from that to try to touch on some other things in the account. But Selena trumps Aurelia and you have to put into Mortha because Mortha, you need that clan's healer. And then you need Mortha for the Solius event. You you need her, so put it put things into her and invest. So unfortunately you have to put some stuff into Mortha. But Selena, I use her in tower, I use her in arena, I use her in campaigns. Just extremely, extremely good character. Okay, so while we're in here, we are just gonna go over where I'm at. And we are able to get Tromgar to six stars from that huge chest pull we had. Still working on Rantha. 13 out of 85. Mortha is 74 out of 85. Coming along quite nice there. Corkrum, 41 out of 85. And I have not farmed a single shard for him. All I'm doing is getting shards from when I complete the tower. And shards for when I am complete all my daily missions. So there's really no reason to farm Corkrum whatsoever in my opinion. And then we have Mar, who I'm getting out of the arena shop. My human team, I have obviously Selena. I have Freezard, who I've kind of put to the back seat right now. Because two two reasons. One, once his event is over with, he is a later game farm. And it's pretty hard for me to get up and running. So he would kind of be capped out in power. I've unlocked Snor one of Snorri's modes, nodes, so I will be farming that on a daily basis. And then I also was able to unlock Little Batty, so I will be putting passively gearing Little Batty to make sure she is up and running. So that is that is really, really big for the account. Elves are elves, pretty much no difference. I was able to 7 star sharp, so that is humongous for us. Count Delman is making his appearance, so he will be the next addition for the battle pass, so we'll go over that in a minute here. Pandas, we have Kin Lee. You know, four stars, 17 out of 65, just slow at farming him passively. 18 out of 65 for foul. Rin is 10 of 30. And I'm still waiting to find out where Rin the Unseen can be farmed. She was everything we heard is that her event would come and go, and then she'd be placed into a node. I'm getting nowhere with the devs, so that's kind of really frustrating me. Where are these characters going once they come out of that? I don't even know event after the battle pass how are we getting them where are they going no answer on that goblins yeah that picture says it all pride not worried about so that that picture says it all and demons again i will be working on slinger he is a battle pass challenge so he will probably be unlocked soon and then kyra we have level 49 i am putting um damage and health or damage and critical chance on depending what secondary stats are better i was able to get to damage which we'll go over here in a so that's kind of where my characters sit you know currently level 49 and as you can see here i've launched the game for 26 days still 100 percent free to play here we have complete 30 common missions 10th floor in the tower, 250,000 gold. Not bad. So let's take a look here at, you know, we have the free to play and we have the premium. So let's take a look at our rewards and see how we're doing. So we got some, one of these pages boots. Get a damage rune with critical chance. We have delman shards some scrolls 150 draw coins that's pretty nice 15 blue scrolls some gear that you can get through challenges so that's not that exciting 225 draw coins what is that demonic mockeries those are nice 15 blue scrolls 25 prince delman or count delman these outcast shackles i'll oh. Yeast life essence that's also good and one outcast shackle so that's kind of nice 
since he does take a lot of those and the keystone fragments those are pretty nice overall the the rewards are good i mean for doing nothing really but the the season events but you know they're not extremely overwhelming you're probably getting critical chance because of delman and he does give crit damage increase so that's probably why you're getting the crit chance runes in there probably help me out with uh the kyra build so that's kind of nice now when it comes to campaigns i did have to progress a little bit in the campaigns the dawn of order i got up to 6-1 because i needed to start farming one of these purple pieces i believe it was the uh dragon robe i had to farm and here i have to start farming the chaotic sorcery so i will unlock this one here very shortly but i do still firm believer that that is the way to go do not progress in the campaign until you need to start farming material or hero shards out of there it is just extremely in my opinion the best way to go when it comes to the rage of clans i still haven't progressed past five nine because this can be found in the um the daily challenges so i'm really no rush to go forward there i don't really need major shot so yeah the runic journey i am at six or yeah six three in the damage so that is kind of nice i got smoked in six four when last time i tried it so daily i try to try to crack at it the more i get involved but making my way through the campaign slowly but surely and then the demon invasion i'm still at 2 2 i i again have found no reason to move forward and waste my energy there um maybe i'll try maybe i'll get up to 2 6 so i can start farming slinger to help with that challenge event for the battle pass so that that, that could definitely be a a way to go there so that, that, that might, might be what I'm going to do. When it comes down to the tower. I didn't complete the tower from yesterday. Since I've got Selena up and running. I have yet to not complete one. So she just makes it so much easier to do your tower. And arena. I'm still between four and 500. Oof. Dropped a lot last night. But I'll climb back up. Between four and 500 I will definitely take. Not terrible at all well that's kind of where we're sitting in the free to play account um challenges still between five and six depending on the what is required so really can't complain there so the guild is coming along fantastic red for noobs we are full oh we lost a, we lost one so 24 25 you know again ozzy and taz are just doing a fantastic job helping me keep it running we are taking down guild raids right now we are currently in four and we have the dragon that was one day old so really can't complain there so once that comes back up we'll knock that out of the park today so raids are coming along to definitely help me out so that's kind of where we're at you know really no change just continuing to work on what we are working on we are not really getting into you know anything extraordinary here we are just simply following the plan we have in place which you know is continuing to work on an order team and orcs so my panda hybrid team and orcs that is kind of where we are at there so we have 2700 draw coins so we can end the video with a chest opening and we actually have enough keys to open up one premium through keys and then we will go with the uh the 10 open so here we go fifty revol all right that'll unlock revol that is good for tournaments he is a good character i will take 50 revol out of a 300 coin chest all right good pull now hopefully this pull for the 10 chest carries forward
Nightiel. Huge, huge pull. Oh man, that's awesome. Patriarch Chi. Xantera. Got some Amara. Man, that Nightiel is big. Big, big pull for the free to play player with Nightiel. 50 Nightiel. That's nice. Patriarch Chi, a little closer to unlocking him. Xantera unlocks her. Another good healer. Yes. Not bad. Down at the bottom, do we get anything good? A couple green dots I'm seeing in Salvia Snorri. So, yeah, not not as good as the, the Tromgar uh, Kyra pull, for sure, but not bad. Not bad. That, that night TL is nice. Oh, and we were able to summon Puncher Face. So let's go ahead and do that. Ooh, look at all those summons. Revol. We are beast mode right now. Xantara. And Old Lore. Old Lore, well, is a terrible character, but he will help me because he is used in tournaments. So, that'll be nice. So, family, that is what I have for you today from the free-to-play account. Um, we are just moving along slowly, you know, pr about halfway to level 50, and we are just progressing using the system I put in place of orcs with the panda hybrid. Once we get soleus, we will move to humans. Once we have humans, we will move to demons. So that is where we are, and that is where we stand. I am very happy with the progress, so... Let me know what you think. Let me know if you think I'm going in the right direction. And the next video, unless something else comes up, will be rune management. I think that's important to touch on for free to play. So I will get into that. So that is what I got for everybody today. I will also be trying to get out the Count Delman for noobs. So that should be coming your way also. Either today or tomorrow as well. So for, don't forget to hit that subscribe Turn on notifications, like the videos. Thank you so much for the overwhelming support. 810 subs is just amazing to me. So I love y'all. See you in the next one. I'm out.